Hi, and welcome to episode 32 of the Guy Who Sews podcast. My name is Sean, and this is my weekly podcast where I share my quilting adventures. I would like to welcome all my viewers, both new and returning, to my podcast, and I hope you enjoy today's podcast. And if you are new, I would love it if you would introduce yourself in the comments and just let us know that you're here. So let's go ahead and get started because we have a lot to get through with our works in progress. The first one I'd like to show you is my Scrappy Diamond. This is one we've been working on for quite some time, and we've been making some good progress. This week, I got a little bit done. I've got about half a row done, and it's looking really, really nice, and I think it'll complement the rest of the quilt really, really nicely. Now, what I've been also working on this week a lot is our koala quilt. This is a big favorite of mine and yours, and I'm excited to say that I have um, completed the block that we started last week. Last week, you got to see the head of this little guy, and now he is completely done. I'll give you a closer view, but that's not all. I went ahead and made this charming little fella, and when I first showed my sister the head, she thought he looked cranky, and so did Amanda. But when you put the whole thing together, he doesn't look quite so cranky. What do you guys think? And then I went ahead and made another one. I told you I was busy. And this one is pretty close to the actual color of a lot of koalas. I love this one. It's going to go really nicely along with all the rainbow colored ones. But three wasn't enough. I did four. So here is the yellow one. And I think he looks really nice as well. So this brings my total of blocks up to nine out of 12. So we only have three left, which is really good. I can comfortably say we may get this quilt top done and maybe even completed the next week or two. So stay tuned for more details. So now it is time to move on to our Week in Review video. If you are new here, this is just a short collection of clips that I put together during the week of me sewing and other things around the house. And you may notice this podcast was delayed by a day. Um, the microphone on my recording device, my old phone, um, quit working when I went to record, or actually after I recorded. Um, but thankfully, the footage from that was um, able to be salvaged, and I'm actually excited to share it with you. So please enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the week in review video if you did and you are enjoying the video so far i would love it if you gave the video a thumbs up as many of you may know already i did actually hit a big milestone of mine um, by hitting a thousand subscribers we were pretty close um but a lot of my good friends like so becca and donna and beth decided to help me get there a little quicker so they campaigned for me and campaigned for me hard and we hit that thousand mark goal and surpassed it late on Friday night. So thank you for everybody that's here, everyone that supported me at any point during this journey. It means so much to me. So last week I asked you guys about my sweet treats quilt and whether I should add some borders and so forth. And I have got an update on that, but I'm going to share that a little later in the podcast. But this week I wanted to ask you again another question about a quilt. Um, we're getting close to the end of the koala quilt 
and this was my first was Elizabeth Hartman pattern, but it won't be my last. And I want to do another one because a lot of people have been asking me, are you going to do another one? And the answer is a resounding yes. But I'm not quite sure which one to do. There's a lot of great ones out there. I've looked at the dinosaur quilt. There's one with birds. There's a unicorn one. There's some like astronauts and so forth. I'd like to know what you guys think. So definitely let me know in the comments which one you would like to see me put together next. So in case you missed it, I did put out a couple of videos this week. Last Tuesday, I put out clue six of the So Sweet Puzzle Mystery Quilt by Cotton Cuts. And that's a sped up time lapse thing of me putting it together. Instead of showing you the entire thing from start to finish in 45 minutes, it's condensed down to about four and a half minutes. So definitely check that out if you missed it. And then on Saturday, I had um, a special guest join me on my live, uh, Stephen Bland from Bland Designs and Yeti Quilter. We hung out for about 75, 80 minutes. We had a good time chatting, interviewing him, and just having a great time. And I've gotten a lot of positive feedback on that interview. So if you haven't seen that, definitely head over to that once you finish watching this and check that video out as well. I was hoping to get a video up on Tuesday, which would be tomorrow, but due to the delay um, with getting this video recorded and published that may not happen but this coming saturday i do have another special guest joining me on my live her name is Kristen hubert and she's from scrap fabric of love she's a um, content creator over in the uk and i'm excited to have her join me we haven't quite finalized what project we're going to do yet but you know we got to have a great time with her so definitely check that out it is at 8 a.m eastern 1 p.m uk um, and so forth um, depending on your time zone Many of my longtime viewers may remember that a few months ago I signed up for a block swap with Quilts on Tour, the, um, the Tulip blocks. Now I have received most of my blocks already over the last couple of months, but there was um, one that I received on Monday. It was delayed due to personal reasons, and I totally understand that. I'm excited to get it. And she also included um, a special little extra, which I'm going to show you in just a second. But just to give you a recap of what this project was, is that you made 12 different blocks, or 12 blocks all together, and sent them out to the other 11 people in the group. And this is one of the ones that I made for myself, which I'm keeping for my quilt. And then these are the others that the other wonderful ladies in my group sent to me. And these are just absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm just throwing these real quick. I mean, we've all seen these before in previous episodes. Each one is just so unique and beautiful. I just love, you know, the time that everyone put into this. But the one that it arrived on Monday was this one here. And this is just going to add to the collection so nicely. And because she felt bad that it took so long to get here, she also included a pack of sewing noodles, which always come in very handy. So thank you very much for that. We'll actually put this together fairly soon into like some sort of wall hanging or a quilt. So stay tuned and I'll show you that in the next little bit. If you are interested in joining a swap like this, or actually this one, the signups have started. She, um, Alicia from Quilts on Tour um, opened the signups last night and the new one is called Sweet Treats. It is a fun block that she put together. It looks like popsicles and it looks fairly easy. So if you're interested, jump over there right now and sign up because usually she doesn't leave the signups open for very long. It's going to be a lot of fun, and maybe you'll get to join my group and um, get to send me a block and get one from me. So we are getting to the point now where I'm finishing up quite a few of my projects. The Scrappy Diamond is almost done. The Koala is coming close to being at the end. Um, I have talked to ask you guys about the Elizabeth Hartman pattern I want to do next, but I also have a couple more projects um, that are already here that I would like your opinion on. I have two different things that I can choose from, and I'd like to see what you guys would like to see me do first. The first one is the last kit that I bought from Crafts that I have not started yet. It's a bunch of Kona solids, which, as you guys know, are one of my favorites. And then this is the pattern that came with it. Hopefully you guys can see it. Looks like a lot of fun. Should go together fairly simply once it's cut. So that is option number one. And then option number two is to make something out of the beautiful fabric that I got from Cotton Cuts, the Batik box, a couple of months ago. I still have 12, the, all 12 fat quarters. I have not selected a pattern, so if you know a fat quarter friendly pattern that I should do of this and complement this, let me know. But let me know which one you want me to do first. Do you want me to do the, um, the kit over here or this one, or should I do both at once? Let me know. In addition to creating my own videos and putting up my own content, I do like to support my friends and other fellow content creators wherever I can. 
And here are some of the ones that I've been watching recently that you may not um, have know about already. So um, if you can, definitely head over, check out their channels as well. Support them wherever you can. The first one is my good friend Ellen Campbell with Campbell Designs. She does a wonderful job with her channel. And she does a lot of lives. She does a lot of tutorials. She is just good people. And I think you'd really enjoy her channel. The next one is Laurie with Quilting Up the Country. She's um, been doing her podcast and lives here for a, you know, a few months, and um, she does a really good job of hers as well. She's very down to earth, and again, I think it's a great channel that you guys should check out. Um, I'm going to put all the links in the description. Um, and then Stephanie with Memoirs of a Long Arm Quilter. She um, did this in the past. She's come back to do it again, and again does a wonderful job of her life she shows um, a lot of long arm quilting and she also does a lot of tutorials and great tips and that sort of thing there stephanie is a wonderful person and i'd love it if you went over to check out her channel as well many of you may already be members or know about this but i am part of a discord group called quilters co-op and it is something that i founded along with a couple of my friends beth and courtney as a joint venture where quilters can come together and just enjoy each other's projects and just communicate with other like-minded people. It's been a lot of fun. We have about 90 members so far, and we'd love for it to grow a little more um, over the coming months. So if you haven't checked it out, definitely do so. Um, we post pictures of our projects. We do a lot of different stuff. It can look a little confusing at first, but think of it as an old school chat room from like the old AOL days back in the late 90s and early 2000s. Just click around, have some fun. And if you have any questions, just post it in any forum or any um, chat link and one of us will be more than happy to help you out. And now I am super excited to be able to share with you the um, completed quilt top for the sweet treats. I did go ahead and add a little bit more to the outside of it. I'm so happy with the um, progress. I did have to use my good friend Jack a couple of times because I was using a thinner border. It wasn't quite working out, so I ripped it all out. Um, and But I'm very, very happy of how it all turned out. So are you ready for this? I mean, how, how beautiful is this? I mean, I just think the ice cream border around the edge just polishes it off. It just makes it look so beautiful. And I am so excited now that I'm going to be able to quilt this fairly soon and get it into the State Fair um, of Virginia next month. Thank you all for your support and all your comments and love that you share with me each week. I have a blast putting these videos together for you, and I always love hearing your comments and so, so forth. So definitely... Um, if you enjoyed yourself, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought, and we will see you all in the next video, um, which will be probably Saturday with Kristen. I hope you all have a great week, happy sewing, and we'll see you then. Bye.